advice today. My friend Chris Asher down at Oink Digital Media who produces my other podcasts who I do with the great comedian John Dore and occasionally the greater comedian Andrew Roberts when he's not in a suicidal depression. He does the podcast too. Anyway, Chris Asher said, cut out the hissing noise in the recordings, turn the gain down and talk closer to the microphone. But the thing seems to be, I don't speak loud enough. And I like to talk a little bit lower when I'm making a fucking point. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'll talk a little bit louder. Don't want the full bass. The full bass. So it's day 45. How many weeks is that? That is seven fives. Seven fives are 35. So that's seven weeks plus two is 42 days. No, that's not right. Hold on. Seven fives are 35. So five weeks is 35, plus one is 42, so that's six weeks. Six weeks? Jesus Christ, six weeks in two days, 45. So it's 45 days. Michael Jordan's number when he was with the Wizards, 45. That's how I remember Jordan, with the Wizards. A 40-year-old man with the wizards. I think a lot of the problems in the world derive from the fact people are getting up against their will. I think you should be allowed to sleep until you wake up. I did that for the first time in quite a while today. I woke up at 10.30 a.m. and fuck, it felt good. It felt good. Real good. Then do you know what I did? I did fuck all today, and it felt good. I did nothing, and it felt good. I woke up at 10.30, I sat in bed, scrolled on my phone for half an hour, then got out of bed, had a coffee, started looking through this podcast, and going, what the fuck have I been doing for 44 fucking days? This is crazy. Not once have I prepared one second of material on this and managed to talk for 44 days straight. Five minutes. 45 days. But yeah, I got up. I was scrolling on my phone. Got up, had a coffee. Then I went down to have a sauna because that's what I am now. I'm a Russian. I'm a KGB agent. I'm a Russian sauna KGB agent. I tell you what, I'm not a fucking KGB agent. If I was, I'd learn Chinese because there's a lot of fucking Chinese in that sauna. Today I was down there and it was me and nine Chinese guys. And I tell you what, after the sauna, I'll tell you this right now. What they're saying about Chinese dicks, how small they are isn't true for these Chinese sauna guys. Maybe the sauna makes your dick grow bigger. But these old Chinese guys have some balls and some dicks. It's good to see. It's good to see they're fighting against stereotypes. So I had a sauna. I played some basketball. Like I said yesterday, my new life goal, which I can take into the afterlife, is to try and dunk. And I had a jump at the ring I can touch the ring I used to miss the ring and the landing used to be bad because I weighed about 15 kilos more and it used to fuck my knees but now I can touch the ring all right I just need to find about half a meter to a meter higher on my jump so I can dunk so yeah it was a nice day today it was one of those days it was one of those days where I'm like fuck All the hard work of being a comedian would be worth it if you just got to wake up whenever the fuck you wanted. I think if people woke up when they wanted, the world would be a much better place. You wouldn't have any war. I mean, you wouldn't have houses or any possessions. 
and we'd still be living in caves. But I think on a whole, it would be a lot better, a lot better world if everyone just slept as long as they wanted. That's the dream, isn't it? Just to dream. Just to be asleep 98% of your life. Fuck, sleeping's good. That was good. Normally I'm up at 5 a.m. How do you like that? Normally I'm doing this at fucking almost 1 a.m. and then I wake up at 5 a.m. I feel like a cigarette. Yeah, maybe I'll wait another week before I have some ciggies. Basically, this episode of the podcast was just to let you know all Chinese dicks aren't tiny. And if you come to my sauna in Burwood, you'll see some Chinese dicks, meaty, meaty Chinese dicks. And I know they're Chinese, they're not just any old Asian because I heard them in the sauna say ni hao to each other. And ni hao is Mandarin for hello. Do you know how I know that? Because I took Mandarin at university for one minute before I failed everything and left because I thought the Chinese were going to take over, which they're going to, and I thought as long as I can understand what the Chinese are saying, I should be all right. So, yeah, how's your paranoia? All right, that's what we've done today. See you later.